What's up you guys? So today I have my Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing. I was not planning on filming this. I actually was, well, it was on track to get here tomorrow, but it came today and I have something going on tomorrow. So I um, thought I would film it Friday, but since I already have it, I really don't want it to sit around for a few days because I want to know what's in it. And I didn't want to open it without filming it because I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I got the $75 Beautylish uh, Lucky Bag. They have the $75, um, I think it's $150, $125, I don't know what it is. Um, and then they also have Jeffree Star. So this is my first time actually purchasing it. I've always contemplated it in the past but I just never bit the bullet and considering 2020 I was like you know what I'm gonna treat myself okay it comes in this beautiful wrapping paper I get why everybody kind of raves about that but it also has this little card talking about the tradition and everything I feel like if you're watching this video you're probably well, you've probably already binge watched a few, um, so I really don't want to like bore you with this stuff, but the wrapping paper is really pretty. I, I think I will save that um, and use it again. And I always reuse like Beautylish's wrapping or their tissue paper stuff because it's so nice. Okay, so I'm trying really hard not to look. Actually, I'm just going to like pull things out of here. I feel like, you know when you're like uh, sticking your hand in something? Uh, I feel like when little kids like stick their hands in like dirt. Okay. So, I feel a bunch of things. Um, the package, it's in this. I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look. Okay, I'm not looking, um, but it's in this nicely wrapped bubble wrap okay there's nothing on the end so okay here we go i just need to stop talking okay so the first thing that i have is wayne goss okay this is the essential lip pencil and it's in the shade my sunlight is going down and i'm trying to use natural daylight um because i don't want to fork out my lights so it's kind of hard to see oh this is pretty okay this is in mauve mauve how do you say that mauve i always say mauve but i guess other people say it different this is really pretty this is like a natural natural nude this is up my alley i feel like his lip pencils are kind of fairly new maybe i'm wrong but i feel like they are fairly new so that's exciting if they are, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they are, that's really exciting to see something like that in one of these boxes. Okay. Okay. I feel like I... Okay. I have a, like a love-hate relationship with these, and this is what I feel like it feels like. Um, is it the steel glitter? It is. Okay. I don't hate these. It's just I feel like they're just like overdone like I don't know especially too because you can get these literally I've seen them at TJ Maxx and when they first came out I had like I want to say like three or four of them and I really really love them trust me I really really liked them um but the thing is they kind of once you open it it kind of dries out pretty fast and I feel like this is more like especially for me this is more something that I'm going to wear when I'm going out as opposed to wearing it to work because it's just it's bold like you put it down and it's bold now i do have some glitter on my eyes today but i was just feeling like it this morning um yeah this is my after work clothes so like i said i wasn't planning on filming this video but it got delivered and i didn't want to wait anyways back to my soapbox about these steel glitters um yeah, they're nice. I don't, I, I really don't even want to open it because I just don't want it to dry out. That's the only thing I can say about these. I really, really liked them when they first came out. I 
always, always got compliments anytime I wore them. Um, I remember actually wearing one of them. I don't, it's like the white shade. I don't know the name of it. Anyways, to a wedding and I got so many compliments. So they are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But it is kind of frustrating to see something that you could get at TJ Maxx in here. But I get it. They are still popular. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, it has a cute name though, Kitten. I actually think I owned this one. I'm 90% sure I own this one because this is a shade that I actually would purchase. Um, I remember having like the gold, the, this sort of, I'm, honestly, I'm just gonna say I own this one. Um, this color and some like white. I apologize, my window is also open to, um, use the daylight and my dog had surgery a couple months ago now anyways so he's not supposed to run up and down the stairs and if i let him down he's gonna think it's funny to do so so he's just chilling up there while i film okay now let's see what else is in there i think now that i'm okay this is like stuck okay this is an item that i'm pretty sure everyone got um which i'm not mad about because i've been wanting to try something from good molecules actually trend mood uh had a box recently that was a collab with uh good molecules and so i really wanted to try it but i'm like you know what i might get something in my lucky box and i don't want to get duplicates because i really don't know enough about them but i love the price point i'm actually a huge ordinary fan um, I have been ordering The Ordinary since, like, it was just available on Beautylish. Um, so if this compares to it, I will be very happy. Um, if you've tried anything from their line, tell me what I should try, because if I like this, I will purchase more. So, oh, but let me tell you, this is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. Okay, I wonder if this is like similar to Tatcha's rice powder. Huh, okay, well, we'll have to try it out. I'm excited about that. So I'm excited about the two things so far, the Wayne Goss uh, lip pencil and the Good Molecules. Like I said, the Stila, I could have done without. Okay, so I, the one, uh, lucky bag that i recently watched the woman actually got this palette which if you know me i have been obsessed with greens lately especially green eyeshadow and i don't know why it just like is like my new found favorite so this is the green lights luxury palette and i've got oh this is pretty i feel like this is more so um fallish colors. I don't really see myself wearing any of these right now except for that shade, but come fall, I think this would be great. I'm excited. Okay. I don't own much Charlotte Tilbury. In fact, <laughs> on my soapbox again. Hold on. Pause for water. I actually went to purchase something from Charlotte Tilbury the other day and they this video will go up, so the deal is still going on. Um, anyways, the if you order something for $99, like a total of $99, you get a free, um, if you use the code FLAWLESS, you get a free airbrush foundation. So I was really excited because I wanted to try that, and then I wanted to try the Hollywood filter. So I'm like, okay, I'll add enough stuff to my cart, get it. I tried to check out four different times, and every time I got an error, and not an error like... Oh, your credit card or your debit card's not going through like an error in their system and i know that i've done that before i tried to purchase it was like a mystery item it was like a 25 dollars 20 something mystery item and i had trouble with it then too so that is quite annoying i don't know if um this happens a lot comment down below if that happens to you all the time i i never really order from charlotte tilbury the only reason i really was going to is because of that deal um but i'm still going to i guess i'll just have to try it on my laptop okay 
So this is instead of my phone. That's what I was meaning. Because you're like, uh, well, how are you doing it anyways? It was on my phone. Uh, okay, so this is the Gold Papaya Bright Exfoliating Face Masks. I love... This is a powder too. Okay, I love face masks. I'm not mad about this. I've actually never heard of this brand. Um, so that's exciting. I have lots of face masks to go through, but nonetheless, I do like face masks. Okay, what else is in here? I feel like, how many items are you supposed to get? Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five. I feel like you're supposed to get seven. And I feel like I only have, hold on, am I missing something? Okay, I guess that I only got six. Are you supposed to get seven? I swear you were supposed to get seven. Or maybe I'm just counting this wrong. Oh. Maybe the counting, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I was gonna be like, please tell me. They are not counting this as an item. I have no idea what this is. I think it was just around this. Okay. You guys. I only got six items. How many are you? I swear you were supposed to get seven. Swear you were supposed to get seven. I apologize if I'm wrong. I probably am wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong because that's sad. My first lucky bag and I only got six products when I was supposed to get seven. Anyways, I kind of felt these, um, but I think these are Sonia G. Okay, I'm really excited about these. I don't own anything from Sonia G. I know a lot of people actually have found out about them through these lucky bags, so I'm really excited. Uh, it's cool to have like a full set of these, so I'm excited. Okay, other than the fact that I feel like I am missing a product, right? I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm going to total everything up and in editing and I'll post it then. But let's see, we've got the Wayne Goss uh, lip pencil. We've got the Good Molecules. We've got the Steel the Glitter. We've got the Gold Papaya Bright face mask. And we've got the luxury green eye lights palette. And then we got the Sonia G brushes. Maybe since this is like a bigger item, they only gave me six. I don't know. I, okay. So overall, will I do it again? Yes. Was it worth the $85? Now I was seeing this from other people's videos. They were saying that like they, they got charged tax. And I'm like, what? I didn't get charged tax. I only had the $75 box and the shipping. So I paid $85 for this. So I'm really confused. Like, did you guys have to pay for sales tax? Did I just like skeet my way out of the system? Maybe that's why I didn't get an extra product. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really understand. Anyways, so value of the box is $75, 85, make it 85 with the shipping. Um, would I have purchased this on my own? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think I would have paid full price for it, if that's for sure. I don't think I would have paid full price. I think I would have tried to get it like on a deal. Um, would I have bought this? No, mostly because I have so many face masks. Um, I'm sure it's a great product. I'm excited to try it because I own it, but yeah, I'm not overly excited. Um, the Good Molecules, I am excited about this, mostly just because I'm really excited to try Good Molecules products. Like I said, comment down below if you have tried more than one, and uh, if there's something that you suggest and recommend that I try out, because like I said, I really would like to try more products from them, especially because I'm such a fan of The Ordinary and I, I'm such a fan of The Ordinary because The Ordinary has a great price point um, and I know their price points are very similar. So, and I think 
they have pretty well are pretty good ingredients so that too um the seal of glitter no i feel like i'm harping on this so much it's just these are so old old um oh wait did i put this back in here the wayne gloss lip pencil and the sonia g brushes so my is it worth it yes i will do it again yes i will do it again next year i don't know if i'm gonna try for the extra large box i don't know i feel like eh, this wasn't the greatest first box like i feel like if they would have knocked it out of the park i probably would try to get the bigger box but yeah i don't i don't know i guess we'll decide when that time comes it's over i mean it's a year away from now um but yeah i understand now what i mean i did understand it before but i do understand why people say not to watch other people's unboxings before you unbox yours because of the reason you kind of get disappointed so i'm not disappointed but i'm not like overly enthused i feel like this is like probably a 200 something dollar box which is great value but i can honestly say out of this box the only thing that i would have purchased on my own would have been the good mom so it is what it is when you get mystery boxes you get a gamble so i'm not mad about it um yeah you know tried it out and there we go so um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i know a lot of youtubers i know a lot of youtubers harp on that but it really does help out their channels and if you would like to see more videos from me uh, please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video bye